Oh, he's looking gloomy today. Oh, he painted his face. Oh, he looks disfigured. Oh, he ripped his clothes again. What are you talking about? Let's talk about that. No. Sorry. You did it! No. Sure. Yeah. Good morning, beautiful people. It is Friday. Can you believe it? Yeah. We're here again. I think once a week we get to Friday. You know what? That's a really good point. I like every day that ends with day. Yeah. That was clever. Yeah. All right. So, um, man, he, he uh, shaved his head off again. And shaved his head off? Yeah. I mean, he shaved his hair off. And uh, walking around sackcloth and ash and... Oh, yeah. Putting his hands up and he's disfigured and all kinds of stuff. Disfigured? Yeah, that's what I said, disfigured. Hmm. So, oh, I guess he's fasting again. Oh, wow, he's a great guy. Woo! That woman, she is fasting. You're being facetious. Yes, I'm being facetious. So, a lot of times in the Old Testament, um, people would... Like, do all kinds of sort of things out of the ordinary to get people to see them as holy or righteous or uh, better than everybody else when they fasted. Now, obviously, God knows the heart and not us. But probably nine times out of ten, um, they were doing it for selfish reasons. Or if they didn't know it, they were probably wanting people to, to see who they were. And so... In Matthew chapter 5, 6, and 7, with Jesus on the Sermon on the Mount, he goes, again, into detail, it's a heart issue. It's not a, hey, look at me issue. And so he says, when. I love that. Every time he says, we need to start doing something, it's when, not if. Like, there's not a question that you should probably not do this. It's when you do this, here's what you should be doing. Now, obviously, fasting is this idea of giving up food for a small period of time to say that, God, you are the sustainer of life, not me, and uh, you are the one who answered prayers. Um, and, you know, I can't do anything about it, but you can. Um, giving him the glory and dominion and, and power through what we're experiencing or what he needs from us. Why well, he doesn't need anything from us, but what he wants from us what our heart needs to change, what our actions and our thoughts need to change, and give him the glory through skipping out food. Now, some people do have low blood sugar, and I understand that. <clears throat> there are other ways <clears throat> to fast, such as fasting from TV or fasting from pleasures or coffee. fasting from coffee. <laughs> anyway, um, so fasting is just not necessarily quote-unquote food. Um, but normally it is hooked to food because he, we want to tell God he is the sustainer of life. And he's our food. He's the bread of life. He's the, the, the water, the living water. And so <clears throat> Matthew chapter 6, verse 16 says this. And when you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces that their fasting may be seen by others. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at me. Woohoo. I'm fasting today. I'm not eating. Ha ha ha. Truly. I'm so holy. That's right. Truly. Now when he says truly, he's saying this is a matter of fact. This is <clears throat> this is 100 percent true. I say to you, they have received their reward. Mm -hmm. Now what reward did they just get? They got the praise of men. They got the praise of women and children saying, Man, he is holy. Oh my goodness, he's going fasting again. Man, his prayers are going to be answered. Woo! I'm telling you what, I'd like to be like him. <clears throat> Didn't he say this about something else? But when you pray, don't be like the hypocrites who have fancy words and go long into the night about whatever they're praying about. He said, go into your closet and what your <clears throat> heavenly father sees, he'll reward you in secret. So again, you see this repeating theme. When you do this, God gets the glory. Not you, 
not your desires, not your wants. You, he gets the glory. He gets the dominion and power over what you're praying about. He gets the choice, and you follow. He gets the the loving and caring compassion and the revenge and the justice and the he gets everything. And yet we still want to hold on to those things that we pray about. We just need to give it up. <laughs> give it up, boys. I'm not saying turn off your mind. I'm not saying don't think logically. I'm not saying don't think through these things and have faith that actually, you know, believes in God can do these things. <clears throat> what I'm saying is because through our study, because through our logic, because through the things that we've seen God do in the past and in the future, and in the Bible, that we have faith that he's going to take it and we don't have to worry about it. We, we, can, we can stop worrying about it. We can stop being anxious about it. And when we fast, we fast to acknowledge that he is the one who answers, not us. He's the one that sees the past, present, and future, not us. And so we want to trust in him and put faith in him. And so he's going to go in a little bit more detail about fasting. We'll pick that up on Monday. Uh, but my encouragement for you is when you fast. So we should be fasting. I love you. Jesus loves you too. You have a great Friday, great weekend. I'll see you Sunday at 11 o'clock. Love you, bye. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, Katie.